Hello everyone, welcome back to Sir, You Are Being Hunted. Today is a wonderful day. I'm continuing in the life of Sir Nigel Humphreys, and I'm pretty sure we are going to make it home. There are four remaining fragments, two of which are in my inventory. The other two of which are on this island, the industrial biome. Yes, my friends, it is a beautiful day. It might not look like it. It might look like acid rain is about to come down at any time and peel off my skin. It might look like the sun is hidden, or is that the moon? I don't even know. I can't even tell if it's the sun or the moon because the pollution is so bad. This place is a hellhole, but don't let that mislead you. It is a beautiful day. Let's get a better look. Let's hop up like a... Like a kangaroo. This is what a beautiful day looks like. Oh great, the acid rain is coming down. I can feel my hair falling off already. And I don't even care. Yes, we are going to make it. We're gonna make it. Okay. So, I found the previous two fragments on this island, over here. So, I'm going to search for the remaining two on this side of the island. I'm really, really hoping, and crossing my fingers... What the hell do they have going on over there? Looks like they're having a bit of a party. I'm really hoping there's not a fragment inside of the town, because that town is so well protected, it's ridiculous. They are swarming the place. So I'm going to make my way along the coast, and over here. And hopefully, the remaining two fragments are on this side. So, let's go. Alright, I've got a pistol with a good amount of ammo, and a shotgun with also a good amount of ammo. Which, because I have no distractions whatsoever, is my weapon of choice. It's my tactic of choice. Shoot them and take the fragments. And so far, it's actually worked amazingly well. Unless, here's the thing. If there is a fragment inside of the town, using the shoot them and then steal the fragment tactic is basically suicide. Because I could have a dozen robots on my ass. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I'm i all up for having robots all over my ass. But not a dozen of them at one time. That's a little bit over my limit. Nigel Humphreys doesn't like that many robots over his ass, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm taking it nice and slow. I could always sprint, but there's no reason to. It's a beautiful day. I saw him there literally hours ago. I think I saw him the first time I came to this biome. And he's still there. Amazing. Gonna swing a little bit wide here. But not too wide, or I might get sucked up by the sea. Or rather, something inside of the sea. Coming to suck me up. I might like getting sucked off, but I don't like getting sucked in. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I think I can sprint. Ow. I just cut all of my feet. 
but it's okay. I'm fine. All right, this is a creepy church. That sounds like there's a... Once again, it seems like every church in the entire game sounds like there's some sort of a demonic wind coming out of it. Just listen to that. I say as the sound goes away, okay. Fine, disappear. Um, but yeah, this is where I killed that robot. This is actually where I first tested out a weapon. Dave Lomax, AFK. Yet another AFK person. Alright, let's check this church again, even though there's really nothing I need to loot. Although, it, you know, having distractions would not be a bad thing. But nonetheless, let's check it again. Did, did I never check this, or was this restocked? I don't know, I'm gonna eat this, though. Okay. Whoa! What is this? A good read. It's usable. What? I've never found books before. What does that do? We're about to find out. Let's read a book. Oh, it's, it's actually a book. The Enchanted Machines. There is a table running along through the middle of the cave. The Machine King is sitting at the head, and his troopers down along in a complete armor. Uh, oops, I misread that. And his trooper... Oh my god. Third time's the charm. And his troopers down along in complete armor. But wait, what? Hold, is there something grammatically incorrect with this? Because this is making my mind explode. I can't... There is a table running along through the middle of the cave. The Machine King is sitting at the head, and his troopers down along in complete armor both sides of the... tape. And his troopers down along in complete armor both sides of the table. I... I can't tell if that's grammatically incorrect or just so incredibly awkward that it doesn't read right in, in my mind. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Beautiful sunrise. It looks more beautiful when I zoom out because the trees don't cover it. LODs for the win. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, there is a table running along through the middle of the cave. The Machine King is sitting at the head, and his troopers down along in complete armor, both sides of the table, and their heads resting on it. Their horses, saddled and bridled, are standing behind their masters in their stalls at each side. And when the day comes, the miller's son, that's to be born with six fingers on each hand, will blow his trumpet, and the horses will stamp and whinny, and the great machines awake and mount their steeds and go forth to battle. Okay, let's hope that never happens. Can I actually... Is there any reason to keep that? There's no reason to get rid of it at the moment, so sure, why not? Why not keep it? Seriously, that, that sentence... <laughs> and his troopers down along in complete armor, both sides of the table. I get what it's trying to say. His troopers are in complete armor and are at boats on both or along both sides of the table. It, it shouldn't it say like end his troopers along both sides of the table in their armor or I don't know I don't know something different. There's something about the way that's written just doesn't work for my mind. I see you. I also see you, but I wish I didn't. Ooh, wait a minute. Where's that wisp going? Is there a fragment out here? Mm, no, where are you going? Make up your mind. You're going to go through the church, aren't you? Yep, it went through the church. Okay, I'm just going to continue along. 
<laughs> Let's get a nice vantage point here and take a look. And by the way, of course, I have a fresh cup of tea with me. Do you? You better. Mmm. Okay, this is, um... This isn't looking good. Because there's really not much more here that is not the center of town, sort of. And I still need two fragments, so... Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go into the town, or at least... Onto the, uh, very immediate outskirts of it. Got a feeling. <laughs> One thing I really need to not do, though, is let down my guard. It would be really easy, right? There's only two more to go. Only two more to go. Take some risks. Be a little crazy. No. The fact that there's two more to go is exactly the reason I need to not take risks. If, remember, even though I'm like six plus hours into this, if I die, that's the end of Nigel Humphreys. Permanently. He will be forever gone. I really need to be careful. Don't make stupid mistakes, that's why I'm not sprinting. I want to. I feel like I could conquer anything. But no. Take it easy. Alright, where are the fragments? Let's follow the wisp. It is going into town. Lovely. Ooh, this one is not. I will follow you. Maybe it is. Damn it. I just heard them. Oh shit. I just scared away birds. Okay, backing up. They might have heard that. Okay, okay. Where are they? I heard them. They're nearby. Wait, is that? I think that's one of them. It's white smoke. That's got to be one of the fragments. Okay, that's... It's on the outskirts. Oh. It's on the outskirts. But it doesn't look too bad. It's not... At least it's not in the center. Okay, I really don't like where he's going, because he's going where I would be going. If I continued in my current direction. Or rather, my previous direction from about five seconds ago, so I'm just going to wait. Okay. I could loot the town, but I don't really have a reason to. Let me actually eat that. Actually, now I have a distraction. I have a bottle. That's cool. Uh, no other food that is not a cooked meat. So I'm just going to continue to save my cooked meat, and now I'm completely drunk. Nigel Humphreys. Oh. Nigel Humphreys is completely smashed. You're going to be a pain in my ass, aren't you? I kind of feel like looting the houses. I'm going to do it. It's low risk. I mean, there's only one robot around. Okay. Maybe I will loot the other side. Just don't... Oh, my God. 
Okay. Yeah, forget that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Looks like he has that little, uh, little section of the town on lockdown. It's a surprising amount of stuff out here. Look on the map, it looks like there's nothing here, but look at all this. Whoa, there's even a bridge! I didn't know this game had bridges. Cool. Ooh, I'm getting an amazing 17 FPS when I look at this. Look at that smoothness. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright, let's go over the bridge. Are those shopping carts under the bridge? <laughs> no bridge is complete without shopping carts. Did shopping carts even exist in like... Well, I don't... I don't even know what kind of time period this is set in, actually. Hmm. I don't know, it just seems strangely modern. I mean, how... Duh, I don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, I want to get a look over here. To see what's here. Okay, so it looks like it goes further out than it actually does. Uh, because of the rocks, I think. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you, Nigel Humphreys. The only other robot I have to worry about hearing the shots... F um, the only other robot I need to worry about hearing the shots is that one. Which may or may not. I don't know, it seems like their hearing range is surprisingly small. So maybe I don't need to worry about it. Even if I do, I could always just take off in that direction, hide behind some rocks. Oh. Whoa. Is it shooting at me? No. What the hell are they shooting at? It scared the shit out of me. <gasps> are they fighting? Holy shit, now's my opportunity. I think they're shooting the guy on the other side. Right now, right now is my opportunity. Oh shit. Now is not my opportunity. That was a very bad opportunity. Now they're deciding to shoot me. Fuck. If they want to come over and get me, come, come on. I encourage you. Come on. I don't know what the hell just happened there. They're... It seemed like the perfect opportunity because they were shooting someone else. Um, and then they turned around. Alright, I think they fucked off. Should be two of them. No dog, hopefully. Don't think there's a dog. Okay. Gonna be the usual tactic. Shoot him twice with a shotgun and then pull out my pistol if I need to. Just getting a feel for where the crosshair is versus the iron sights. Looks like the actual place it shoots is a little bit down from the top of the iron sights. Okay, I need both in view because I need to shoot them very quickly. I also want to be behind a tree so I can quickly take cover. Right about here. OK, 
Come on. If one starts coming over to my position, I'm just going to shoot him. Okay, oh, this is looking good. No, 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 come on. Eh. I'm getting closer. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Reload, take cover, and wait. I wonder if you take out the people protecting a fragment, and other people come to investigate the shots or whatever? I wonder if they will take over the duties of protecting it. I don't think they heard. I think I'm okay. Whew. Thank you, Wisp. I know where it is, but I appreciate the effort. Mints, I will take those. I really don't need bandages. I have four. More mints. I really don't need food, but sure, I'll eat some blackberries. Whatever. Good. It's not a big one. That means I still don't need to clear out anything in my inventory. Okay. One fragment. One fragment remaining. Six plus hours of effort to get to this point. One fragment remaining. Just one. Okay. Wisps, tell me where to go. Just please don't tell me it's at the very center of the town, because then I will be very, very scared. Tell me anything but that. Until I see a wisp, I'm going to go around the outskirts and simply search. Oh. Never mind. There's a bunch of wisps flying overhead, and there it is. It is, wow, it's not even in the town. Okay. This should be doable. Some nice cover here, too. Oh. Actually, there's a lot of people patrolling. Ooh, is that right next? Is that next to or like inside of tall grass? There's a farm right here. The hell is that building? It's very strangely shaped and it appears to have a number placed on the side of it. It's whoa. Kind of scared me. <laughs> Okay, looks like they're going away. Good. Uh, I want to jump the fence, but they might see me. Is there a way in? Okay. Alright. Nice and tall grass. I'm barely visible, and I'm going to take a sip of tea and contemplate the situation. Okay, if I shoot them, I don't believe anyone will hear. I don't see anyone, so I'm just going to go for it. I think this is going to be pretty smooth. Should have a clear shot of both of them. Should have a very clear shot of both of them, actually. What the hell? Well, he's having trouble. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he doing, like, a, a guarding dance? Maybe he's trying to ward the place. <laughs> this is a protective dance passed down to me through my robo father and from his robo father before him. 
I really want to know if there's someone else around. I thought I heard another voice. I don't see anything. Nope. Heard something. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna wait for the other one to come closer. It's a little bit far away. That one, I mean. Little... Okay, okay, good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, right? Now. Now, we run, and we wait. Yes, someone is coming. Multiple people are coming. Or are they? I think they might have just given up. They were coming. They thought, oh my god, I think I just heard shots. And they said, oh fuck it, I'm tired. I'm going back to patrolling. Nope. I've had a long day. I think... I think this is it. Everyone, I think this is it. I think this is the final fragment. Shotgun shells? Yes. Hold on. Can't have this obnoxious noise playing. Come here. Take a good look around. I think... This... Is the final fragment. Here it is. I'm gonna touch it. Oh. oh! My hands are around it. It's it's warm. Almost hot. And very heavy. Much heavier than you think it would be. And it's beautiful. Oh. That's it. That is the last fragment. I've been searching for the pieces to take me home. I've been searching high and low for so long. I almost died a dozen times. It really wasn't pleasant, but... I finally found the fragments. I'm going home. I'm gonna put the kettle on and make some tea. Everyone, it's time to go home. It is time to go home.
<laughs> I'm here. Oh my god. I'm gonna eat some mince. And I'm gonna eat some meat. And I'm gonna look at my cracked patriotic teapot in honor of Morgan Humphreys. This is it, everyone. This is it. Not even the searchlight can stop me. <laughs> this is it. Actually, maybe the searchlight could stop me if it if the wind blows in the wrong direction. No. No, I'm good. Four remaining. Four in my inventory. Here we go. Excellent. We're making progress. You might survive this after all. A few more of those, and we can activate the device. The last fragment. Sir, you've done it. I'm bringing the device up to speed now. I hope you won't consider this impertinent, sir, but I'm amazed you survived. Hang on. We'll have you out of there in three, two, one. Nigel Humphreys, you should be proud of yourself. Do you, um, do you have any words for anyone out there? Ha tell me, Nigel Humphreys, how do you feel? <laughs> okay, um, th thank you, Nigel. Wise words indeed. Time alive, seven hours... Three minutes and 27 seconds. Robot slain, 18. Bandages used, 5. Food eaten, 74. Shots fired, 52. Traps sprung, 0. Animals cooked, 0. Tea drunk, 3. Times died, 0. Stealth rating, foreigner. I have no idea what stealth rating foreigner means. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But either way, we did it. We did it. Seven hours, not a single death. A completed Iron Man run of Sir, you are being hunted with the life of Nigel Humphreys. On my second run through the game. On, uh, an honorable mention goes out to Anne Tricklebank. She perished very quickly. But without the knowledge gained from her, Nigel Humphreys would have never made it. So thank you, Anne. Thank you for your sacrifice. This accomplishment is dedicated to Morgan Humphreys. He was a good man. I didn't know anything about him, but you're, he's, Morgan is my great, great grandfather, so I, I have to say he's a good man. He was a good man. Exit to menu. That's it. If you go to play game, this is his world. Any world? Where a character dies in gets deleted. However, this one is finished. And Nigel Humphrey survived, so his world will stay here. It will never be deleted. It will stay right here.
Wow, that was... That was epic. That was awesome. I really, really, really like this game. This... This game is just so damn good. And it's only an alpha, that's the thing. I mean, obviously, it's, you know, it's... It's gonna have a lot more content. And there's quite a few things that are rough about it, but even in an alpha state, not even beta, but even in its current alpha state, it provided me with one of the coolest gaming experiences I've ever had in my life. That was amazing. I just, I love almost everything about it. Somehow it manages to meld hardcore survival with humor. And to such great effect, I didn't think such a thing would ever be possible. How can a game be hardcore and also ridiculous and funny? I mean, you're running for your life and you're trying to fight for your survival. In this inhospitable world that wants to kill you in basically every way. And yet somehow it has ridiculous British robots that complain about taxes and robo-dogs. And somehow it works. It really, really works. It's just, it's so charming and so good and so unique. I mean, a procedurally generated stealth game. Like a stealth survival game. It's just so cool. It's awesome. And the way all of these systems interact in the complex AI, and the way everything just feels so natural and organic, like the way the, uh, the way the robots will move about and be attracted by sound sources like birds and gunshots and whatnot and get into fights with each other. The way if you shoot a gun, birds for a, a certain radius around you will all fly off. And that has its own ripple effect on the environment and stuff like that. It's just so cool. There's probably a lot more I'd like to say about this game, but... I don't know, maybe I can make a separate video talking just about this game. I'm not really sure, but I'm not going to go on too much. I'll just say I really freaking like it. It's a really unique game. I love it. And I can't wait to see what they do next with it, because again, this is only in alpha. Just imagine the possibilities. I definitely want to see more of this game, some more things developed. More, just, just more opportunities to do more unique things. And I have no doubt that's going to come, because again, it is an alpha and more content is being added all the time. And the game is constantly being changed. So, here's what I'm going to do. As far as me playing this game in the future, I love it and I definitely want to play it again in the future. However, since I just finished an Iron Man run, and I feel like... I feel like if I generate another world and do the same thing again, there's not going to be enough different to keep me particular to keep me as interested as I think I should be. Um, because even though the worlds are going to be different, obviously the worlds are going to be different. But I feel like what I'm going to do in the world is going to be pretty similar. Like I'm probably going to do the same things, you know, sneak up on these fragments and use some distractions and attempt to uh, get the stuff until I can finally get a gun and a good store of ammo, and then at that point, um, it seems like you can just kind of, well, shoot the robots at the fragment sites, and it makes everything a lot easier. I feel like I'm just going to do that again. Like, I feel like there's not enough variety yet in the game, from what I've seen, to really support another playthrough for me at the moment. I, I think I would enjoy another playthrough, but I don't think I'd love it. So what I'm going to do is wait a little while. This game is in heavy development. It is an alpha. Updates are released very frequently. I think roughly every month. It's not a set schedule, but I think they're aiming for, like, monthly updates. So, I'm definitely going to revisit this game, but I'm going to wait a little while for some more stuff to be added. And some more stuff to be changed. And then I will come back and probably revisit it with, well, probably another Iron Man run or something like that. So yeah, there ends the life. The successful life of Nigel Humphreys. I hope everyone enjoyed. And Nigel Humphreys, 
Good job to you. Here's a celebratory sip of tea. Mmm. Tastes like victory. <laughs>